Thank you for choosing the 118 siphon gun from Critter Spray Products. This video is designed to help you understand the basic operation and cleanup tips for the 118 siphon gun. First, open up the box and remove the gun. Loosen the jar ring and remove the jar from the spray gun and lay aside. The proper method of loosening the jar ring is by holding the jar in one hand and unscrewing the jar ring with the other. Never attempt loosening the jar ring by twisting the gun body while holding the jar. This can move the liquid nozzle out of alignment and affect performance. Select material to be sprayed whether it is oil or water-based products. Thoroughly stir the material, looking for solids that may be present, which are more commonly found in older paints. Observe the viscosity of the material as to how quickly it runs off the paint stick. The quicker the material runs off, the less chance of having to thin the material. If lumps or solids are detected, then straining the paint will be required to prevent the gun from plugging the nozzle or embedding particles into the finish during spraying. Next, pour the material into the jar until three quarters full. The remaining space may be needed if thinners are added to thin the material if required. Check the liquid nozzle position in relation to the air nozzle for the largest pattern. Set the tip of the liquid nozzle halfway across the orifice of the air nozzle and make sure it is in alignment from left to right. Place the jar gasket on top of the jar, then tightly secure the jar to the gun with the jar ring. Obtain a scrap piece of cardboard or wood to trial the spray pattern. The next step requires the use of an air compressor. Please ensure you follow all of the manufacturer's safety and operational guidelines. Now, plug in your compressor and set the air pressure regulator to an initial setting of 30 PSI. Connect the 118 siphon gun to the airline. Test the spray pattern on the scrap material. Hold the gun 3 to 5 inches from the workpiece. Pull the trigger and move across at a constant travel speed while maintaining the distance. Release the trigger prior to stopping or changing direction. Spray in the opposite direction and overlap the previous pass by approximately half. Always start off and finish off your workpiece to avoid runs when stopping or changing direction. Observe the application of the material. If the material is too thick, it will not atomize easily and produce a finish with spatter and look like the surface of an orange peel. To improve the atomization and resolve the situation, there are several remedies. 1. Thin the material in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations. 2. Increase the pressure gradually until better atomization is achieved. And 3. Mix in a paint conditioner that improves the atomization and leveling characteristics of the paint. If the material is very thin and is running, you can try any or all of the following. 1. Reduce the pressure incrementally. 2. Lower the nozzle incrementally to reduce the material siphon action in the tube. 3. Increase the travel speed. 4. Increase the distance from the workpiece. Once you can achieve the results you are after, you are ready to tackle your project. Spraying Tips First, lightly coat those hard to reach areas. Maintain a constant travel speed and distance from the workpiece. Position your workpiece so that you can spray on horizontal surfaces where possible. This can help eliminate runs. Spray with the pressure set as low as possible to reduce overspray. Keep the atmospheric vent hole free of paint to allow the jar to breathe properly. To apply stains, lower the nozzle position to reduce the siphon action and also turn down the air pressure to between 15 and 20 psi. Increase the distance from the workpiece to allow better control when shading in the stain. When spraying water-based finishes, watch for potential buildup on the tip of the liquid nozzle. Wipe this away before it can dislodge and become embedded into the finish. Cleanup Oil-based products Obtain a second sealer jar and fill with 4 to 6 ounces of paint thinner.
Remove the jar filled with paint from the 118 siphon gun and screw on the jar with paint thinners. Place one finger over the vent hole and another finger over the top of the liquid nozzle. Splash the thinners around inside the jar, rinsing the paint from the liquid tube, jar gasket and cover plate. Connect the gun to the airline and spray a few short blasts to clean the inside of the liquid nozzle. Disconnect the gun from the airline with a couple of absorbent paper towels handy. Remove the jar from the gun. Lay the jar gasket aside while you wipe off the liquid tube in the bottom of the cover plate. Unscrew the liquid nozzle and dry off the threads both inside the nozzle and the mating threads on the liquid tube using the paper towel. Reassemble the nozzle to the liquid tube. Using the paper towel, gently wipe clean the jar gasket. For water-based products, follow the same steps as an oil-based product cleanup, except rinsing may be performed in the wash basin with running water. Thank you for choosing the 118 Siphon Gun from Critter Spray Products. We hope you enjoy using our product, and remember to follow all manufacturer's safety instructions.